tonight I'm going to help you get healed and delivered. Say healed and delivered. Is that okay? The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying the words. Is in My name is Andrew Hemstraut. Thanks Jesus for joining us. Right. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. Holy if this Ghost isn't your first God time here the and these messages day. are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Psalms 107, verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. What did he send to heal them? His word. His word. What did he send to deliver them? His word. His word. Past tense. He sent it. Mm -hmm. Tonight, I'm going to help you get healed and delivered. Yes. Say healed, healed. And, and delivered. delivered. Is that okay? But you need to drop all of your old religious thinking. How far has that got you? Probably sick, right? But I'm going to help you get healed and delivered, but you have to let go. Say, let go. Let go, let go of your old religious thinking because you think you know what this is about. Mm -hmm. You're not really listening with ears to hear. So drop your old religious thinking of how you think this works, this healing business. Oh, I know how this healing business works. Uh, no, you don't. You think you do, but you don't. Because he says, Psalms 107 verse 20, he sent his word. And healed them and delivered them so in the word that he sends say in the word that he sends, word that he sends. has to be healing has to be deliverance mm -hmm. it comes via word mm -hmm. and he's already sent it uh -huh. he sent his word and healed them that's how it works and that's how he do that's how he does it if that's how he do that's how we do See, a lot of people are waiting around for a gift of the Spirit. If you're waiting around for God to do something or to manifest a gift of the Spirit, you may be waiting for a very long time. It may never happen. But I'm preaching the good news, which means there's healing available for you because what i'm talking about is a gift of the spirit say a gift, a gift. it may be, not be the one of the nine gifts of the spirit the classical gifts of the spirit in first corinthians chapter 12 mm -hmm. but it's still a gift of the spirit yes. Yes. he sent his word and healed who's the one sending the word holy ghost holy men of god spake as they were moved by the holy ghost he sent his word and healed them Amen. say he sent his word, he sent his word. And, healed and healed me and delivered me, and delivered me. he sent his word and healed so if i have his word I have his healing power Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. I might not know what to do with it I might not know how to access it but I have it because he sent it and if he sent it it's a gift mm -hmm. are you here yes. say he gave me a gift, me a gift. And, it me. and it healed me well so if I have his word and I do then I have his healing and delivering power he sent his word and healed them and if he sent his word and it healed them there had to be 
healing in that word mm -hmm. yeah. there had to be healing power in that word listen there was faith to be healed in that word that he sent every word of God has power within itself to bring itself to pass healing verses have healing power in them to bring healing to pass in the one who hears it mm -hmm. he sent his word and it healed them if he sent it and it did it then that's where your healing and deliverance is like it or not say that's, that's where, where my healing, my healing and, deliverance and deliverance is, is. Oh, i'm looking over here i'm looking over there stop looking over there look right here the healing and deliverance is in there because he sent that to do it mm -hmm. which means it has the power <laughs> i need to find the power of god to heal me what would you tell somebody if they needed to find the power of god to heal them it's in there because he sent his word and it healed them mm -hmm. that's a gift his word in your mouth will deliver you his word in your mouth will heal you in fact his word in your mouth will do whatever that word says but we're talking about he sent his word and healed you so his word in your mouth will deliver you you just don't know it yet his word in your mouth will heal you you just don't know it yet his word in your mouth will heal you and deliver you you just don't know it yet his word in your mouth mm -hmm. will do it a couple days ago the holy ghost said to me if I can get people to agree with me in what they say I can do that thing in their life if I can get people to agree with me in what they say I can do that thing in their life agree means to say the same thing well the Holy Ghost said he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions how am I supposed to say the same thing he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions there's healing in that verse of scripture there's healing in that verse of scripture sometimes you got to say things more than once so people get it faith comes by hearing and hearing mm -hmm. hearing and hearing well how are you going to have hearing and hearing somebody's got a saying and saying mm -hmm. he sent his word and healed them and delivered them he sent his word and healed them and delivered them if he healed them and delivered them by sending his word in the word was healing and deliverance get that straight Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God through faith we understand that the world say the worlds the world. would that include this world yes. so this world was framed or made by and out of the Word of God mm -hmm. what's your body made out of bones and skin yeah. no when you get down to it it was made out of the Word of God say my body, my body was made, made out of the word of god, word of god. what was it made out of, the word of god. he sent his word and healed you he made it out of the word then he sent a word that had healing power in it to heal the physical body that was already made out of the word mm -hmm. are you here yeah why would he send a word to heal a body that got out of order because that's what he made it out of knowing that the holy ghost spoke certain words into the earth and if i can get into agreement with those words by saying 
they will come to pass in my life knowing that the Holy Ghost spoke certain words into the earth and if I can get into agreement with those words by saying they will come to pass in my life he's framed everything everything is framed out of the Word of God everything you see I like to do that every once in a while I'll go around every once in a while and just tap on things oh that's made out of the Word of God because your, your mind says that's made out of wood actually that's made out of fake wood you know your mind tries to figure out yeah that's not you got to tell your mind sometimes what to believe his word is embedded into everything in this world because it was created out of it that includes your body your body is embedded with the word of god already it was created out of the word of god say my body, my body was created, created out of the word of god, word of god. and therefore it will respond to the word of god he sent his word and healed me say he sent his word, sent his word and, healed and healed me can you see now why he would send his word to heal someone this his word will have an effect on your physical body his word will have an effect on your physical body his spoken word will have an effect you got to clarify this his spoken word will have an effect on your physical body say his spoken word, his spoken word will, have will have an effect on my physical body, physical body. this faith pleases God and it's effectual mark chapter 11 verse 22 and jesus answering saith unto them have faith in god and another way to say it would be to have the god kind of faith mm -hmm. and then he goes on to describe that kind of faith verse 23 for verily i say unto you that whosoever whosoever shall say qualified the whosoever right whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith so here we have the god kind of faith or the faith of god and it says you must believe the words you say come to pass mm -hmm. now if you do that are you still here I'm helping you out I'm gonna show you a loophole mm -hmm. you must believe the things you say come to pass and if you believe the things you say come to pass you will have whatsoever you say mm -hmm. but there's a lot of people would say well I can't believe what I say comes to pass I understand mm -hmm. I know you look at that and you go what I'm showing you a loophole listen if the words I say are God's words what are you believing about them see I'm not just speaking to a mountain I'm saying God's words which is a loophole because I'm not trying to use my faith I'm actually using his faith because there's faith in every word of God to bring itself to pass I can't believe the words I say yeah but I can believe that those words that God has said have faith in them that's where I'm trying to bring you to the words that God has said have faith in them and have the power in them to do the thing that he sent them to do I can believe that those words spoken will come to pass are you starting to see this it's easy to believe that those words contain faith because they're faith-filled words and when you say them faith comes so it's easy to believe that those words 
have faith power healing deliverance Amen. say God's words, God's words have faith, have faith power, power healing, healing and deliverance and deliver. already in them already. when you're saying them you're saying his words and believing they come to pass that's a gift if you just got that these are the words I say he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions when I say those words my job is to believe that they come to pass where are they gonna come to pass in my life they're gonna start affecting my physical body and my situation my job is just to simply believe that God has embedded in those words the power and faith and delivering power to bring themselves to pass. Mm -hmm. I believe it when I say it. Mm -hmm. I can do that. This is a gift. He sent his word and healed me. Yes. Say, He sent, he sent his word. His word and healed me he sent his word and healed me he sent his word and healed me just pause it and do that for five minutes sit there and say he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions what are you doing I'm speaking in agreement with God's word and allowing him his words that he spoke to begin to affect my physical body and my situation now I've heard this before didn't Jesus say to be not like the heathen and use vain repetitions number one I'm not a heathen I'm not a heathen do not use vain repetitions there is nothing vain about these repetitions I'm literally speaking God's word into the earth and into my situation and you want to say it's vain Can you imagine someone saying that you confessing the word of God over a situation is a vain thing Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 my son attend to my words now if I attend to the words I'm gonna be there right yep. pay attention you're there attend to my words incline thine ear unto my sayings plural mm -hmm. let them not depart from thine eyes keep them in the midst of thine heart for they my words are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh now again I have in the margin of my Bible there it says medicine mm -hmm. they are medicine to all their flesh life to those that find them if you need life in your physical body right mm -hmm. a dead part would need some life mm -hmm. and medicine to all their flesh God's medicine to all your flesh what 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 is mm -hmm. his word his word is medicine to all your flesh well I only take my medicine once what if it's prescribed to take to attend to it all the time let it not depart keep it there keep it there health to all their flesh what about old flesh what would it do to old flesh the Word of God it would heal it would renew its youth right. mm -hmm. this will renew your youth attending to his word and the way we attend to his word which I've been talking about is by saying it that's how you agree with his word it's his word word you gotta say the word 
say this will, this will renew, renew my youth. My youth. What will his word? Attending to his word. Letting it not depart. So how often do you take medicine? Well, I don't take anybody. Other people, if you had a prescription, usually right on the on the bottle, it would tell you take 3 times a day with food or something. Right? You know what medicine is? How often do you take it? You take it as often as it's prescribed by the doctor. Well, here the word says, let it not depart. Keep it there. It depends on the condition. Mm -hmm. If you have a serious condition, you're going to need some more medication. Have you ever noticed that old people take more? Mm -hmm. I mean, most healthy little kids they're not on a medication my point there is to take as much as is needed and in the Word of God he sent his word and healed them is enough for any condition including youth renewal but you have to take enough for the situation does that make sense yes. You take as much as you need over time this is a faith product that we're receiving so we're working in the faith realm we're not working in the mind realm does this make sense so over time that will begin to make a product that will begin to produce in you Psalms 107 verse 20 he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions now my mind might be thinking all kinds of stuff about that might be kind of bringing up all those old religious thoughts but I'm not doing a mental gymnastic I'm working faith he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destruction your mind goes stop it don't you don't need to say it anymore how about shut up mind I'm a sayer of the Word of God and I have his word manifest in my life how do I get God's word manifest in my life by saying it he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions oh I want healing I want deliverance from my destructions then you have to say he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions then eventually you will be a person who was healed and delivered from your destructions mm -hmm. after saying that I'm just telling you I do this after saying that for about 10 minutes something begins to happen to me something happens on the inside my inside gets glad sometimes a smile will just come up on my face because i'm agreeing with the holy ghost the holy ghost is the one who said those words and then i recognize that healing power is on the inside of me from saying it and then i keep doing it and then i realize healing power is on me it started in me and now it's on me and I keep at it maybe another 10 minutes and I realize that that delivering power is not only in me and on me but it begins to go around me go say around me as I'm saying it you see in this it grows as I say it it gets bigger than you it gets bigger than your situation mm -hmm. and it begins to go out and manifest itself in the situations and circumstances around you mm -hmm. because you're in agreement with God the Holy Ghost listen you shall have this say I shall, I shall have this 
have what you say have this healing power and delivering power Amen. he sent his word and healed you and delivered you commit to it attend to it become psalms 107 verse 20. Mm -hmm. what do you mean become it say it enough to where it becomes you and you become it mm -hmm. if someone were to come up and just poke you what would come out psalms 107 20. Mm -hmm. he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions nothing vain about that repetition you are changed into it by saying it and let it change you let it change you into the thing said i become he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions mm -hmm. this becomes who you are you become healed you become delivered is this good news yes. he sent his word and healed you and delivered you from your destructions let me pray for you holy ghost i thank you that this anointing is on them and it's on this word and it has gone down into their ear and caused them to be excited and to see that those things that they've dealt with for years are just moments away from being removed for you sent your word and healed them putting in them more than enough power more than enough faith to be completely healed and completely delivered and we give you all the glory and praise in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost. i worship you you are god in the earth today i thank you that you sent your word and healed me and delivered me from all of my destructions i am blessed i am healed i am rich and i am fulfilling everything you've called me to in jesus name amen Father is in heaven. Jesus at his right